Hi, very good uh, evening to all of you. Hi, uh, can you please let me know uh, if you can hear me? Can you please put into the chat window if you can hear me? Yeah, thanks, thanks, great. Last week, if you remember, we could not have the session in this uh, go to webinar properly. So that's why I just uh, logged in a tad few seconds earlier so that we can uh, ensure that uh, last week uh, go to webinar was not working. Okay, so we will begin our session right now. As you all know, the first half an hour I discussed my market views for next week and uh, the next half an hour Vivek sir will discuss there is it is mostly a, a monologue kind of a session because very little time is left uh, in this session to, where uh, we can take up uh, a lot of questions actually still if time is there we will try to take uh, questions i we know that the market is a kind of a uh, flux of a situation and that's why uh, some of you may be thinking that what is happening or what is not happening this is a situation uh, which is uh, which is uh, highly uh, uh, new for all of us okay i also have not seen any war in my career in the market so uh, to me also this is a, a completely new situation and uh, i don't know that how uh, the global geopolitical situation will evolve now let us start this discussion not from nifty or bank nifty chart or rather we will start from crude oil chart now before that please tell me do you like this dark theme in the dark theme in the uh in the in uh, in, in in the chart instead of white today i have uh, started using the black one do you like this dark is good right great great so uh, what has happened in market is that if i if i if i look at the monthly chart of the crude oil uh agar hum monthly chart of the crude oil ko hum dekhenge so we will find that see this was a 2011 high and this was around 115 okay so or 114.83 was the high and now today we had made a new high of 116.57 okay so as i as i have mentioned with my students also and as i as i have shown in the twitter also i can show you so in the twitter also i had i had posted uh, regarding this so that uh, this crude oil uh, chart if you see that uh, earlier also we have posted when the price was nearly 105 that it is likely to cross 115 and 116 and possibly it can then go to reach all time high of 100 and uh, uh, it can go to reach uh, all time high of 147 which one before 2008 uh, lehman brother uh, crash in the market okay so we have to be uh, uh, looking at what crude is doing because crude is a very important factor for us in the market and if crude stays above 100 105 uh, it is very difficult for equity markets to perform well in india uh, you have to understand this because this is a very uh, high cost of energy possibly uh, uh, today sixth phase of election is over and possibly post uh, 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 the last phase that is due on monday we may see a, a hike in a, energy caused by maybe 50 20 or 30 rupees it can happen i'm not saying it will happen uh government may uh, decide to reduce costs and uh, let the price remain low but uh if the government does not remove the taxes in that case uh the energy prices are going to rise very steeply uh post-election so that we all know and that is a very uh, bad scenario for uh for any economy any energy importing economy barring the energy exporting countries like saudi arabia uh, united arab emirates all these countries okay now it is not only about about uh, this uh, uh, crude oil see uh, i will show you 
one important chart here. Uh, this is uh, the uh, this is the zinc future you can see. So if you if you are looking at the monthly chart of zinc, so you can see at lifetime high and still very strong. Okay, going very strong uh, in zinc. Okay, if you if you if you have we discussed these things in the last class. If you remember, uh, this is the monthly chart of nickel, and I have I have posted many a times in 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 this uh, in this uh, uh, commodity and currency club. If you go there and search by nickel, I have posted multiple number of times. Uh, if I post nickel and uh, if if I search nickel, you will find. Many a times uh, we have been posting that nickel is going to go upwards. Many a times uh, we were discussing even when it when it when it breached 8030, we were discussing 2000 plus level. And nickel had rallied almost 20% uh, since then in just one week. So in the club we have been discussing, and you can see from this 1875 level, almost 10% rather 10-12% it has rallied. In the last session also, we discussed about uh, this aluminum and this we have posted also in the commodity club. So uh, what we uh, have here posted here uh, was about, uh, about this aluminum. See, last time what happened is that, and I told that last time when Russia invaded, uh, Russia invaded, I have, I have spoken this, when it was going above this level. So I spoke that last time when Russia invaded uh, Ukraine, it had gone up 35% in two days. That time price was low in 2014-15, okay. Uh, but uh, at this time price is very high and it has gone to 300 all time high. It's because Russia is a major producer of major raw materials. And see, you can see along with that corn, how it is doing. So I have been how it has gone up. So every commodity is going up because Russia is major producer of many agricultural uh, uh, products and many many of this uh, five percent of global aluminium is produced by this. In nickel, they are the major producer. So all the all the raw materials, if there is a global sanction, it is going to go up, and that is going to be very bad for uh, the global economy. Okay. So not very uh, sure that how the Russia-Europe uh, uh, crisis will resolve Russia-Ukraine, Russia-NATO crisis will evolve and how I am not sure also about how if there will be a nuclear war or something. If you see here, so nuclear, if you see many a time, uh, uh, Russian foreign ministry accuses waste of considering nuclear war. So all this buzz is going on. And if these things happen, because so much sanction has been put on Russia, and now Russia, it, like, tries to uh, take on with the nuclear threat. I don't know how uh, the things will evolve globally. I also have not encountered a warlike situation in my career of 12 years. I think none of us have seen this kind of a wildlife situation and not sure how it is going to resolve. Regarding Nifty, if I am talking about Nifty, uh, so these are the first I will let me go to the Nifty relative chart. So if you can see the only index uh, in, uh, since it has started the crisis, has only index that is uh, those two are flying are this is TASI. Any any guess which in the index it is? Uh, any any guess which index it is? Tasi, any guess? T A S I, which Saudi Arabian? Exactly, Ninaji got it uh, correct. So Saudi Arabian index is this, uh, and next is I I, I B Bosfa. That is uh, the. Uh, uh, Brazilian index because they are commodity related economy so their index is going up apart from that all the global economies are going up see bank nifty is the worst performing uh, but asia uh, like hansang dax euro is the worst performer and in and nifty is somewhere in between uh, 
obviously below Dow today because after today's fall it is below Dow. But earlier it was doing below uh, Dow. Okay, so you can understand how uh, the things are shaping up. Nifty IT is not falling like uh, the Nasdaq is doing doing a little bit better than Nasdaq. But overall situation is uh, I would say very sour right now in this front. And now if I go to the Indian, uh, so the best thing that is doing right now is metal and energy. And that has to be there. If you see for last many days, metal and energy is doing good because uh, metal and metal prices are going up. ONGC, etc., Oil India, all these things are doing well. Reliance is also doing well because uh, when uh, the price of oil goes up, what has is that Reliance already have a purchase crude oil. So if the oil keep on going up, so whatever price it buys the crude oil, it sells the product at a higher price. So always there is the inventory gain and gross reviving margin goes up in a rising uh, crude oil scenario. So Reliance is uh, doing good. I'm not sure about what will be the fate of ONGC because you know, I don't know the government uh, will allow uh, the entire gain of this uh, record crude oil to be with the ONGC or Oil India. So if I look at the ONGC right now, I, I'm not sure uh, that uh, government will allow it uh, to retain all this uh, the crude oil. So as I said earlier also in this earlier that 178 is a very strong resistance and you can see it is not going up because government may ask it to actually share uh, this uh, burden of subsidy at this point, extraordinary world-like situation, okay? Same with Oil India, though its chart is a little bit more bullish. So Oil India's chart was a little bit more bullish, but uh, today actually it fell after moving up, okay? So for the same reason, because as the elections are coming to an end, government may think of sharing uh, some part of the revenue. Apart from that, Hindalco doing great. Hindalco doing great. Can continue to move up. Hind Zinc. Okay. You can see Hind Zinc kind of rally it had, but not sure if it can carry or not. Hind Copper. not a very bullish chart at this point of time he steel stocks are again not very bullish okay so tata steel if i see yeah tata still became bullish uh yesterday but uh earlier it was not bullish because now the steel prices go up and because uh, what is happening with tata steel is that it is having a captive iron ore so if it stays above uh, 1289 it can really become bullish okay tata steel is there uh, JSW. So all these companies have uh, captive iron ore. So what can happen is that in a situation of like this, uh, their sole product prices can go up, but it will hamper any other industry. If I, if I talk about motor industry, so Tata Motors, you can see in a very bad shape. Okay, Bajaj Auto. Major consumers of steel, okay, in a very bad shape. If I if I if I if I talk to you about ACC, so I I have shown this chart earlier. I have posted this chart also, and in the class also I have discussed this chart that if uh, uh, this thirty five hundred was breached, it can fall towards third three one three nine. So it is falling like that only, okay. Uh, ACC, I those who want to play short and possibly I will give this trade as a short trade uh, next week. You see, it is very difficult to trade this short it, because right now UP election uh, is around the corner. Okay, so when UP election is around the corner, what can happen at this point of time is that uh, 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 what can happen at this point of time is that because of if uh, UP election results like 7 June, like next Thursday, next, not next Thursday, not next Monday only evening, the exit poll is coming. So if markets start bouncing due to that, I don't know what will happen. But obviously this is a, a short sale idea that is worth uh, looking at. If you can see ACC 
looking to fall towards 1700. Okay. Apart from that, if you can uh, uh, see escorts, so all these companies who, who are dependent on raw meat, escorts had a very weak sale number. No, though it is not very weak right now, Mahindra and Mahindra. So, not this one. Mahindra and Mahindra NSC. Okay. So you can see it has come has come back to uh, uh, this support level. So every auto stock, if you if you are talking about uh, Maruti, you can see the way it is falling. Every stock, every stock, Maruti though is near a very important support right now, approaching an important support in seventy three hundred. But very difficult right now for all these things because the raw material prices go up and we don't know. How long this economic sanction will be there, and how far these uh, 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 prices go? This is a perfect storm, and actually a doom scenario in global market. If you see uh, this uh, Dow Jones, if I if I show, it is still holding above this thirty two thousand nine hundred level, but uh, every day candle, if you can see, is almost a thousand twelve hundred thousand point candle. It is very difficult to trade for anybody in any market right now. See, every now and then uh, news are coming this. And see, this is the chart that I shared. Uh, so I had practically dipped to 1.67. The bond deal again have gone up like this. Uh, this is the dollar index in which I, I expect a major breakout. Okay, This is the monthly chart, weekly chart. And I... I, I Expect that once it stays above this 1.7, 97 point, uh, or rather 98, it can go to 101 to 104. So, up, overall, the situation is very, very gravely bearish. Okay, uh, gravely bearish uh, in this in this uh, uh, scenario. So, not a, a very confident uh, moment for anyone to take the trade. Only as I showed you. You can you can use this trade. See, this is my uh, crude oil webinar, and I, I I I told you to trade crude oil. And see, every week, last week you can see uh, if I if I talk about last week, this was last week. See, one two three. When did last week start? Let me let me check once again. Last week uh, started. Last week started with, uh, this is February, 22nd February, okay. So this is 22nd February. This is 22nd February. This is 22nd February. Okay. From here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 18 right trades since last week beginning. I'm just showing you last week, it has been quite successful earlier also, okay. So this was uh, 22nd, right? This was 14th February. This was 16, 21st. This is 22nd February, right? From here. So one wrong trade, two right, two wrong trade, two right trade, three wrong trade, Three right trade, four uh, right trade, five right trade, six right trade, seven right trade, four wrong trade, eight right trade, nine right trade, ten right trade, eleven right trades. So, eleven right trades against four wrong trades since last two weeks. Even before that, also it has been majorly successful. If you can see, this week was bad, but there is a rule that after uh, four wrong trade. You have a stop of uh, this uh, that week's trade, but overall you can see the success ratio is very high. Many right trades, and after that one or two wrong trades, most trades are right. Okay, so a very fantastic strategy. Uh, you, if you want to trade, you can uh, do this. I will show you the webinar. So this is the webinar. 
and uh, those who are uh, not able to understand uh, that much in english for them i will uh, i am going to uh, on 30th of this month i am going to uh, conduct this webinar it has yet not come it will come here but this is the webinar okay this is the webinar and on 30th uh, of this month i am going to have this there are many strategies in it but the most successful strategy that i am going to uh, 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 conduct uh, the last of this month you will be able to see here this webinar so uh, you can if you are a willing to multi asset trader because in situation like this it is better to focus on crude and commodities i can understand that you cannot trade uh, nickel because nickel if, you, if if i show you the nickel cmcx nickel this is really sad that in such a scenario people are not being able to participate in it though it is a very easy uh, trade and if you remember if anyone is following this session from these levels 1700 levels i am saying that it is going to go 2000 or 2200 I, I was telling now if i if i if i see the products if if i go to the nickel you will understand why it is very difficult for anybody to trade see contract specification uh, so right now april uh, it is uh, december 2021 look at this so the 24 metric ton okay 24 metric ton now 24 into this 2200 24 into this 2200 okay and this is as you can see the rate is per kg okay so you have to multiply it with thousand okay 24 so 24 thousand into 2200 you can understand the lot size is 52 lakhs and that is why a lot of uh, retail traders unfortunately are not being able to participate into this uh, golden rally that we can see in many of the commodities even i'm if i'm talking about uh, if i go to this and i don't know why they are doing uh, these things if I, if i go for a product like uh, aluminum you will see the mini lots are gone and if you see the kind of lot size it is having see it is uh, five pesa per kg it is all all the fine but 150 metric ton that is base and now see the price the price if you can see here yes 300 rupees okay now again if 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 if, if we go here like 300 into 150 then zero 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 because it is metric ton. So the lot size is forty five lakh. I don't know who like how anyone is getting benefited with such a huge lot size, but it is really that many of the retail participants are not being able to be able to participate in this. So this is quite unfortunate, and that is why. So both Hindi and English webinar won't be same the hindi webinar will cover only one strategy of the all the strategies discussed in the english the crude is not a sale right now uh arvind sampatji uh highly possible as i showed you in the in, in 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 this chart highly possible in the monthly chart as i showed you that crude can go towards 150 and i think uh, crude will go to 150 uh, I think because uh, if the sanctions uh, persist, crude will uh, go to towards 150. The situation is not uh, cooling down very fast because even if uh, Russia takes Ukraine, which it will take, obviously, given its uh, uh, given its uh, military power, it is very difficult for the US and other European countries to lift the sanction on Russia. In that case, all these raw material prices will go up and life will be very difficult for anything i i, I suggested the nifty puts if you remember earlier uh, for as a hedge so i suggested uh, all of you the nifty puts at this point of time i will come to this so i suggested you nifty puts
but they were for the us the up elections now this has become your war put because and i asked all of you to roll over those puts to uh, next contract so i am i am going to this uh, option chain and i am going to uh, going to this th 31st march okay so of nifty so i i suggested all of you remember who have been attending this this put which is 1089 right now i suggested all of you this put at 230 rupees and when uh, this uh, 17000 put was at 270 i suggested you to buy uh, thinking that the war uh, be, thinking the uh, uh, up election but now this has become your portfolio hedges how much market can fall that i will discuss right now just give me a second uh, as i say all of you can roll it on to at least april put at this point of time see if you roll it over roll over cost is very minimal especially for the 70500 so it is 70 80 rupees uh, the roll over cost but it is worth because given the situation i i, I personally think that uh, uh, it will be very difficult it will be very very difficult for a uh, market to uh, recover in this kind of a scenario given uh, the scenario in nifty to be frank, uh, I expect uh, Nifty possibly to touch, though it is not falling, but weekly chart shows that 15,726. If BJP also loses you, uh, uh, which is uh, seems unlikely, then uh, very near term, I expect 14,000 in Nifty and uh, over a medium term, I expect, uh, expect 12,700 in Nifty. If BJP loses UP, which if BJP does not lose UP, uh, which does not seem to be the case from what is going on in political uh, analysis that we see in TV, in that case, at least 15,700 can be a level which one should look for given the war situation. Now, it is very difficult to predict how it will pan out because war is not a pandemic for which a medicine can be uh, uh, medicine can be invented or what is not an economic situation economic steps can be taken this is something uh, which is very uh, new to everyone and i don't know how things would be resolved 34000 uh, uh, looks to be a level bank nifty is headed for below that it can go towards 31000 also if the situation keeps on being like this i don't know how the economy will uh, survive this kind of a uh, uh, commodity uh, onslaught like uh, that is going on so any uh, any overall uh, holistic question from your side yes i'm asking i'm asking any holistic uh, question you have i have three more minutes so i can uh, look to answer not uh, any stock specific question but holistic scenario but if you have any question i am i'm able to answer for next two three minutes if you have you can ask pharma sector view sir pharma is doing uh quite badly if you see pharma is one of the weakest sector right now every sector is weak except it and metals and uh, energy so pharma uh, can go down in this in this uh, fall uh see market is not falling a great much in nifty level only because of few stocks it stocks and uh, nifty level it is not falling that much only because of few stocks like reliance okay so reliance is uh, looking strong see it is not uh, giving up because of the fundamental reasons it has due to uh, this and one more important thing that i want to tell you at this point of time if you look at this nifty it chart it looks so that it is trying to bounce above this though it had broken down it is trying to bounce above this so we have to see if nifty it tries to save the day for uh, uh for overall uh, index and one more stock which is dragging the market very badly and i'm, I'm very getting very concern about its matter of state states see it can fall to it, this is a very huge index heavyweight okay 
HDFC. And the way it is breaking down, it can fall to much lower levels. So if HDFC falls, it will be a big drag uh, for market. HDFC bank also showing a similar situation. If you see, uh, had broken the important support level 1300, obviously uh, looks very imminent. But beyond 1300, also it can fall very badly. So I'm, I'm, I'm very concerned about these uh, two stocks. So we'd like to hand it over to Vivek sir right now. Hi, sir. Are you there? Hi. How are you doing? I Hi, said can you are audible. Thank you. Oh, audible, okay. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. Uh, I hope you guys are doing good. Not sure about it because market is not giving us good reasons to do good. But nonetheless, that's how it is. And market always has these kind of things which which bothers all of us. So that's OK. So let us uh, talk about where we are in the market and how should we deal with the market at this juncture. Unfortunately, what is happening in the market right now is that uh, there are stocks which are showing a lot of momentum. They do go up and after a point of time, the momentum is getting lost. I think it's also largely because market is quite confused uh, about uh, the output of this war scenario. And I, I, I would like to you know, give a comment here that when you are having sanctions, to an economy like Russia. Uh, Russia is not a small economy, right? It may be small in terms of size, I mean, just a 1.5 or $2 trillion, I think $1.5 trillion economy. So in terms of value of the economy, it may not be huge, but the contribution it has in the global economy in terms of exporter of raw materials and other things, I think it has a huge, huge relevance. So, if country like Russia is facing this kind of a sanction, and the level of sanction is 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 very very high, it's not a casual sanction. It's extremely serious sanctions which everyone is planning. I think there is going to be a major cut in supply of these raw materials, including crude oil, from Russia and Russia region. And if if you hear what other you know, if you hear Putin, if you hear the whole story which is around, what is the story? The story says that Putin is saying that NATO uh, was supposed to be made for certain purpose. But now that they are getting closer to Russia geographically, Putin believes that that's, that's not should have been done. And the only way he would have protected himself or Russian people continent is obviously to go slightly offensive. So on both sides, you will find logics in the merits which these guys are giving. So if that is the situation, anything can happen. And if anything can happen, then why do we venture out in doing something which, which is not a desirable solution for us, which is why do we build positions? So since we have been constantly talking about dollar, 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 look at dollar, dollar going up. We have been constantly talking about this and market going down. So there has been a clear cut relationship now. In the middle, the relationship got slightly disconnected, especially here when market was kind of in a range and there was some kind of a buying interest in the bottom. But now the, when the market is showing clear sign of correction, and market is not able to trade above 200 a moving average. I don't see any reason why we should build positions. Let Nifty trade above 200 moving average, then we will build our positions. And I've been speaking this in almost all public forum that why do we think about building position in stocks right now when market is not trading above 200 day moving average. So this is this is most important thing for all of us to know ki abhi market mein position nahi build kar sakte. Having said that, yesterday I released this video where I talked about SIP in equity stocks. Okay, 
and uh, investing in stocks which are mother stocks and doing a regular SIP in these stocks, I think it doesn't harm you to start this SIP. I mean, you can also wait uh, for 200 day moving average to go up in Nifty, uh, but it's difficult to time the market. So what I would suggest that if at all you have to put money in market, you may decide, no, I will not put money in market. But if you at all have to put money in market, I would suggest that all these mother stocks, even though these mother stocks may look weak uh, momentum wise, these mother stocks are the one where you can think of starting doing SIP. Because I strongly believe from here for coming at least one year in India, it will be difficult to make abnormal money. And that's what everyone is saying. I'm not I'm not a scientist that I'm saying something new to all of you. Uh, in India, I think it's not going to be very easy to make a lot of money this year. So uh, doing an SIP will make a lot of sense. So these mother stocks, if you have not seen my video, please do see the video. These mother stocks and doing SIP in these mother stocks makes a lot of sense to me. उसके अलावा अभी मार्केट के अंदर में किसी भी स्टॉक में किसी भी तरह का पोजीशन हम लोग को नहीं लेना है यू सी दिस इज सिचुएशन राइट नाउ आई हैव जीरो पोजीशन इन द मार्केट बिकॉज अगर निफ्टी 200 हंड्रेड मूविंग एवरेज के ऊपर बंद नहीं होता है और कन्विंसिंग बंद नहीं रहता है तो मैं मार्केट uh, में पोजिशन नहीं बनाऊंगा दैट इज समथिंग विच आई हैव क्लैरिटी इन माई माइंड हैविंग सेट दैट I will always look at my stock list, and I will try to figure out stocks where there is potential that in my momentum will be here. So that when market closes above 200 day moving average, I will start building positions in those stocks. And the model is very simple: that I will look at stocks where relative strength is greater than zero. RS 21, RS 55. RS 21 greater than zero and super trend positive. So look at Aptek. Super trend is positive. RS has gone above zero, and RS 21 is also going above zero. So this is a stock where I would like to venture because this was a strong stock earlier. It has corrected because Nifty was there and Mark and these stocks have corrected. But I feel that this stock potentially could go up when market crosses above 200 DMA. So this is one stock. Which I will track. Idea again, short term swing looks promising. So yes, I will track. Sare gama again, buying in two hourly chart. Short term swing is about to become positive. So I will wait for the short term swing to become positive. BSC two hourly chart positive, but this is not. This is positive, but be two hourly relative strength is not positive. So I will wait for two hourly chart to show me positive strength. NIT, yes. So you see, ad tech companies are showing decent strength. So when market recovers, possibly they will recover. Centec Reality, yes. Zomato, certainly not at these levels. Trident, no. Mahindra Logistics no. JK Paper yes. Muthut Finance yes. Obviously Muthut Finance is going up because gold prices are going up. So it's a cyclical stock. So one has to exit these stocks also at the right price. Gojas Property almost there. Manapuram no. Coal India is very strong because globally raw material prices are going up, coal prices are going up, and if there is obviously when there is war, uh, the supply of coal will get disrupted. So, but coal India or any kind of PSU is a big no because you never know what government would like to do with the PSU, so you can avoid. In the star no. Vedanta again, raw material story, commodity prices going up. Vedanta is showing strength. Motilal Oswal, no. 
ITC, yes. So basically, out of these 100 stocks, wherever I'm seeing a buildup of momentum, I am looking at those stocks. Not that I am buying those stocks, but I'm definitely keeping them as part of my tracker. So my green list are the stocks where there is some bit of momentum available. And if market closes above 200 DMA, I will venture to get into those stocks. Till that time, I am not looking at building any position. Again, repeating, I will only build the position when market is trading above 200 day moving average of Nifty. So let me take some questions today because, you know, I don't have much to add. It's the same story last Friday also. Uh, we talk about the same thing. <coughs> so I, what I will do is I'll take a few questions today because I'm sure that you have a lot of questions in your mind which you would like me to answer. Okay, so Ajay is asking question. Can you explain your weekly RS model with few examples for say three to four months swing? Also, is your new addition of RS21 period indicator in daily RS model holds good in weekly RS model as well? Yes, it's pretty much Ajay holds good in weekly RS model also. So when you are looking at weekly chart, so all you need to do is convert this daily into weekly and this two hourly into daily. Okay. Now let us find out stocks where on a weekly basis 21 period is positive and daily rs is also positive so let's try to get some stocks look at this stock uh not idea sorry yeah look at this stock sare gamma but unfortunately on the daily basis it is still negative so i will not look at this okay bsc so bsc on a weekly chart 21 period as well as 55 period was positive and it, it gave a good run but on daily chart it is still negative so i will probably wait for bsc to cross 2286 before i made up make up my position otherwise the only way i can build position in bsc is by doing small small sit i cannot invest in bsc right now in one single price because on a daily basis this stock is underperforming the market let us see some other examples this is a perfect chart for weekly stock where you can take position but that position will be for a longer tenure what is this stock nit 55 period has been strong 21 period has been strong so it's a strong stock and on a daily basis also rs is greater than zero even though super trend has become negative but rs is still greater than zero so this is a perfect stock for a, you can say, long-term investments. Let us see the stocks out of the mother stocks. <clears throat> so SDFC, no. Nokri, no. ICC Bank, I mean, it just went negative. So right now, no. Kotak Bank, it's becoming positive now. So maybe I will buy after it crosses 1956 levels. State Bank of India, yes, it looks interesting. So what you can do is any stock where you see some kind of a pattern in the weekly chart, which is 55 period is also green and 21 period is also green. I would like to start building my position in these stocks. Weekly stop loss is far, far bigger than daily stop loss. Always remember that if you are trading on the basis of weekly strength and the stock is also showing you strength, <clears throat> then your stop loss will be much bigger, maybe almost 20%. But you would like to ride that stock for a longer time. So the best way to play the weekly chart is to do SIT. You should not buy at one particular price because stocks can correct even though weekly it may look strong but it, it may correct so you should have that comfort of adding more position in these stocks okay 
do your setup consist of stop loss or just taking out stock if rs goes negative so nikhil my so i would suggest when you start the market you should have a price based stop loss but like i have been in the market for a long time so for me indicator based stop loss is the one which i am following right now but do not follow that because you are starting to starting in the market i would suggest use price based stop loss okay raj has a question how will euro be affected by this ukraine russia war also share type of stocks that benefit from war well uh, i mean war is obviously uh, which leads to mass destruction so typically uh, you know the defense stocks i mean in india there are not many defense companies who are manufacturing things and supplying to all these countries so defense obviously adds a lot of because every country will then increase their allocation in war, in defense so companies which are catering to defense uh, uh requirement of the country will definitely be get benefit apart from that i think uh, gold or uh, anything which gives uh, safety and security net in fact i would say banking also to certain extent because people will not try to take a lot of risky bets and put money in a simple savings account or fd account so banks will get benefit if they will get more liquidity in the system they will get more benefit okay vishal is saying that can the team also add manervini train template scanner in stockage well it's a big ask but yeah i'll note it down and let's see if we are able to do that Vivek sir, how is SDFC Bank for accumulation? Smita is asking. Good question. So, shall we SDFC Bank? Let's see. So, see. If we talk about momentum, ki baat kare, so the stock is in extremely bad momentum. Bad momentum. What is the problem? Is that every time the stock goes up, there will there is someone who is selling the stock. इसीलिए इसका मोमेंटम बहुत पुअर है सो द ओनली टाइम यू वुड लाइक टू अकोमुलेट द स्टॉक इज वे यू बिलीव दैट द स्टॉक इज फंडामेंटली स्ट्रॉन्ग और फंडामेंटली स्ट्रॉन्ग स्टॉक अगर कोई है तो उसको नीचे के लेवल पे अकोमुलेट किया जा सकता है बिकॉज आपको उसमें रिस्क रिवॉर्ड रेशियो फेवरेबल आंसर आएगा तो अगर एस जी एफ सी बैंक in that sense is a very good bank but the problem is that it has become a lagard it has become a white elephant to ye stock ka jo ye price hai ye 1000 tak kya ja sakta hai kyun nahi ja sakta hai kya ye 1500 ko abhi immediately cross kar sakta hai doubt hai to in this scenario mujhe kya karna chahiye mujhe nahi accumulate karna chahiye uh maybe i'll wait for lower price to accumulate maybe if you still feel like yes i want to accumulate probably this is the range you look at the price broader range jab bhi accumulation ka socho na to thoda lamba avdhi ka chart dekho aap to look at this so maybe if you want to start accumulate 1280 ish level you can make an attempt but this is definitely not the best of the best chart of a stock where you would like to accumulate Okay, Udit is saying, can we accumulate Hindustan Unilever? I think I, Hindustan Unilever also has the same problem. Same problem, you know. Momentum weak, stock price niche ja raha hai. Weekly chart ke under me 200 DMA ke pass me aa chuka hai. <clears throat> so it's not in a good state of affair. In fact, daily me dekhte kya ho raha hai. <coughs> but i can't buy these stocks which are trading below 200 day moving average aap iska ek pattern dekhiye iske niche trade karne lag gaya ye so and it's a it's actually almost oh this is interesting it's it's almost around rs zero so this agar momentum isme aata hai to probably i will buy but look at these yaar ये मूविंग एवरेजेस के काफी नीचे ट्रेड कर रहा है तो इसको अकुमुलेट अभी 
somehow I don't feel like इसको accumulate करना चाहिए because again market भी नीचे and ये भी अभी भी fall में लगा हुआ है so I would probably avoid if at all you want you can try with very small quantity but why to try मेरा ये मानना है कि जब भी stock reverse करे ना चाहे हमको महंगा लेना पड़े ये गिरती भी तलवार है यहाँ हम उनको अपना नेक क्यों रखना है अगर ये गिरते गिरते सपोज ये रिवर्स कर जाते हैं और महंगा ही लेना पड़े बट तभी लेंगे ना जब ये मोमेंटम दिखा रहा है नहीं तो इसको अभी लेके कोई फायदा नहीं ओके कैन आई अकोमलेट ए यू बैंक वाई आर यू गाइज इन हरी टू अकोमलेट AU Bank का देखिए मार्केट प्राइस देखिए आई मीन लुक एट दिस मूवमेंट खट 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 आई डोंट लाइक टू यू नो टेक पोजिशन इन दीज स्टॉक्स वे दीज काइंड ऑफ मूवमेंट इट इज इट गिवस मी स्लीपलेस नाइट क्योंकि गिर गया फिर भर जाएगा फिर गिर जाएगा ऑब्वियसली इफ यू आर एन एक्टिव ट्रेडर यू लव दीज So, ये अपना 200 हंड्रेड के पास आ गया ये 55 पीरियड में स्ट्रॉन्ग है लेकिन ये टू आवली में वीक है इफ यू वांट यू कैन बाय स्मॉल क्वांटिटी बट नॉट अ ग्रेट चार्ज स्ट्रक्चर राइट नाउ सॉरी अबाउट इट बट इट्स नॉट अ ग्रेट चार्ज स्ट्रक्चर के प्रस्टीज स्टेट यस प्रस्टीज इज माई फेवरेट I'm I'm also waiting for this to reverse. One of 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 my tracker stocks. This this. This is good chart structure. Look at this. RS is around these levels. Stock is not falling in a hurry. That means कोई कोई desperation नहीं है बेचने के लिए टू आवरली में positive है This is a good chart structure. Reddington, that's also one of my favorite. I did book my uh, trade, but I'm waiting for a Nifty to go above 200-day moving average, and first stock I'll buy will be a Reddington. Fantastic chart structure. Basically, you have to see how desperate people are to sell a stock. And that chart, see, comes to mind that in this chart, in this chart, there is a desperation. You know what you need to do is that you know my stocks आप एक अपना बना लीजिए और उसके बाद में you know just start for sort it on ascending basis and just keep on looking at the chart like this जैसे ये stock देखिए कितना interesting है अंबिका cotton is so interesting structure तो इसको हमको देखना चाहिए and you know space जब आप keyboard में space दबाएंगे तो वो एक-एक नीचे shift हो जाता है so what you need to do is every day just this is a interesting chart structure it is reversing from its 200 day moving average also so i will look at this i will not look at this stock it ye girta hua market mein main nahi apna neck rakhunga i will try to get into a stock where reversal is seen this is interesting access bank all the two hourly mein reversal nahi hai but this is interesting Bajaj Auto, unfortunately, reversed back. Ideally, it should have shown some action, but unfortunately, this is again a stock which has reversed back. Let's see how it is. But it deserves to be seen uh, as a tracker. Bajaj Finance is very, very interesting. Look at this. Yahan kaha selling aari hai? Kisi ko desperation hai ke stock ko bechne ka? And the stock is taking a beautiful support around 200 and moving average. So, yeh stock to me definitely dekhna chahunga. Bank of Baroda, very nice structure. Bharti Airtel also decently good structure, not a great structure, but ये भी अच्छा है. इसको भी देखना चाहिए. Borosil is a nice structure. See, अपना आर एस जीरो के आसपास में है और रिवर्सल दे चुका है. My point is कि जब तक ये अपना घुमा नहीं है, तब तक हम नहीं लेने का सोचेंगे. गिरता हुआ मार्केट में जैसे एशियन पेंट्स में मैं अभी कुछ नहीं करूंगा घूमेगा और स्ट्रेंथ बरकरार रखेगा तब घुसूंगा नहीं तो मैं नहीं घुसूंगा तो वी कैन डू दिस एनालिसिस ऑन अ डेली बेसिस 
एंड देन फिगर आउट स्टॉक जिसमें रिवर्सल द मार्केट टू हंड्रेड डीएमए के ऊपर क्लोज करेगा देन वी विल पार्टिसिपेट बी एस सी इज वन ऑफ दो स्टॉक्स Why cement stocks underperforming in spite of good move in commodities? Well, the move in commodities is in global commodities, and cement is not a global commodity; it's a very localized commodity. Cement is dependent on local demand and supply, especially in the domain of uh, real estate. So, if the market weak, then cement will be weak. Otherwise, real estate stocks should perform because of real estate is in bullish mode now. तो सीमेंट भी परफॉर्म करेगा बट शॉर्ट टर्म में बिकॉज ऑफ मार्केट सीमेंट इज गॉट वीक वॉट इज यू ऑन सेल अब सेल का स्ट्रक्चर देखिए प्रॉब्लम यही है कि पोटेंशियल बहुत लगेगा बट चार्ट स्ट्रक्चर में आपका मनी नहीं करेगा इसमें कुछ करने का लुक एट दिस ओ नहीं सेल हैज गिवेन यू वेरी गुड सेल वॉज नॉट गोइंग गुड सो सेल हैज रिवर्स ओ वाओ फैंटेस्टिक अब सेल अच्छा है आर एस ट्वेंटी वन के ऊपर टू आवरली आर एस भी पॉजिटिव दे दिया है इस स्विंग के ऊपर में ट्रेड कर रहा है नाउ सेल इज ओके हंड्रेड के ऊपर सेल इज गुड यहां पर सेल गड़बड़ लग रहा था वैल्यू इन्वेस्टर्स ने इन्वेस्ट किया होगा बट यहां पर मोमेंटम के लिए आई थिंक हंड्रेड के ऊपर अच्छा और हंड्रेड एंड नाइन के ऊपर तो और भी अच्छा हो जाएगा बिकॉज देन इट विल स्टार्ट ट्रेडिंग अब ऑल द मेजर मूविंग एवरेजेस Rajesh is asking, DI continues to invest. Are they finding it opportunity time? Well, you have to understand that if FIs are selling, DIs have to buy because there is an inverse relationship between FIs and DIs. So, a DIs may be that some categories are there which are long only that they have so much cash in hand that they have to invest. So basically, all these DIs who are buying. For me, I think they are the index funds because they have cash coming in. They have to buy. Shushil is saying, "What moving average do we use in here?" Well, the moving average which I use is twenty-one, fifty-five, hundred, and two hundred. All right, guys. So I just thought I'll take few questions. Uh, uh, generally, we don't take questions because we have so much to speak. But right now, we don't have much to speak. we are waiting for market to close above 200 dma tab tak uh, just keep on doing homework make a list of stocks which can be good for your momentum participation and then participate in stocks only when there is momentum otherwise sip method mein kaam karte rahiye and uh, you can't time the market for sure if you want to time the market still i would say 200 day moving average can be good barometer to time the market thank you so much guys have a great weekend uh, let's keep the fingers crossed that world doesn't lose its overall sanity and we still come back to peace discussion and close this issue once and for all thank you bye and have a great weekend thank you shuradeep and thank you other team members bye bye